Yeah, before we send it to Jay, I just want to remind you guys one last time for today that you can score early this NFL season with FanDuel, America's number one sportsbook. Right now, new customers can get $150 in bonus bets with any winning $5 money line bet. That's $150 if your team wins. If you guys have been thinking at all about joining FanDuel, there's no better time to get in on the action. The app is super easy to use. There's a wide range of betting options, including spreads, player props, over-unders, and more. You guys can go visit FanDuel.com slash UCSS to kick off the NFL season. FanDuel, the official partner of the NFL. All right, let's send it down to Town Hall. We've got uh, Browns cornerback Greg Newsom. Here he is. Yeah, Adam, okay. thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Craig, first of all, before we talk about the event, I have to talk about your state of mind after beating the Pittsburgh Steelers on Sunday. It's a great time to be a Cleveland Brown, isn't it? Oh, man, it's amazing. Um, you know, I, I just think it was the ultimate team win. A 13-10 game. Obviously, as fans, I know everybody was kind of crazy. Uh, we were, too, but uh, it felt amazing to win that game. The camaraderie in that locker room seems to be at an all-time high. Mary Kay Cabot was here a short while ago. She's covered the team for over 30 years. She says this reminds her of the Bernie Kosar years teams where they were so close knit. Compare the camaraderie and the, the just general vibe that you guys have to some of the other teams that you played on. And also what difference that could make in the long run. Yeah, um, the camaraderie is amazing. Um, you know, obviously coming out to an event like this, you see a bunch of the guys around here um, outside of the building. We're always together. Greenbrier, we're always together. OTAs, everyone came right away. It wasn't a guy that didn't come. So uh, we, built a, we built a great camaraderie. And if I can compare it to a team that I've been on, honestly, it's probably my junior year at Northwestern uh, where, you know, we weren't the most talented there. We're really, really talented here. But, you know, just how close we were, we were able to carry ourselves uh, to a great season. So um, it's been amazing. Our resident defensive back, Tyvis Paul, is back in the studio. He's dying to ask you a question. By the way, he's been blowing the Greg Newsom horn for <laughs> two years. So, Tyvis, go ahead. The floor is yours, my friend. Hey, G. New, man, what was it like getting that first pick six, well, actually your first career NFL interception, and then taking it to the house? What was that like, man? Man, it was amazing. Um, all I say is, man, all glory to God. At first, I didn't know I was going to be able to play. Honestly, um, I was hurt the whole week. I really didn't practice too much. But when I seen that ball in the air, it just slowed down. And um, I was mm -hmm. like, this is the perfect time. Um, and, a, and a huge game for me to get my first pick six. <laughs> you know, you know, uh, Greg, you know what's so crazy is I've been trying, I've been out here telling people um, all week, all year, like it's something different about th these dudes. Like, you know, I look at other teams that fold when their quarterback, the quarterback's not in. You've played with multiple quarterbacks, but it just seems like this defense is, is, is really on another level where – it don't matter what happened on the offensive side of the football. The defense is just got a different mentality where it's like, we just not about to let y'all get no points. How is it playing with that much confidence? And are you guys playing with the most confidence that you've, you've seen since you've been here? Yeah, man, it's amazing. Uh, the confidence we're playing with, I think it honestly starts with Jim Schwartz. Uh, him coming in, letting us know, you know, this is what we're going to do. Uh, we got the best corners in the whole entire NFL. We're going to play man. We're going to lock them up. We got the best D line, uh, best front seven in the NFL. So we're going to we're going to play tough. Uh, so he doesn't allow us not to be like that. And, you know, he's given us so much confidence um, that, you know, even if we were to mess up or something, we're not worried about getting yelled at or getting blamed or anything. Uh, just the, the confidence that we're playing with is at an all time high. And, and like you said, I feel like there is not a game where we're, at, we're ever out of the game just because, you know, the, the way we play defense around here. Greg, obviously the defense has played fantastic this year, but I want to I want to give a little love because the, the punter and kicker never get much love. How big have both your punter and kicker <laughs> been to the success of this team? Nah, for sure. Um, you know, Corey has been doing a great job just flipping the field, and, and I don't think too many fans – that's just fans that don't really know the game of football too much really realize how big that is for us as a defense. You know, when he's able to flip the field and we can start, you know, drives at the 20 or at the 15, uh, that's huge for us as a defense. And then obviously with Dustin, um, if you guys watched me, I already knew he was going to make that kick. Uh, he's been <laughs> so crucial for us. Um, and a lot of our success this year has to do a lot with him. So um, the punter and kicker combo that we have around here, um, they're doing amazing right now. Hey, Greg, Greg one of the things to watch has been the fact that this team's defense can lead the way. 
We talk on the show every day about how it seems like we've left the offensive era in the NFL. Even last night, if you watched the Chiefs and yeah. the Eagles, they put up points, but they weren't breaking pinball machine records like these offenses used to. Do you feel that there's been a noticeable shift to the defensive side? And with that in mind, where it used to be the last 10 years, you couldn't win a Super Bowl without a great quarterback. Do you feel that that's changed this year and you can? Yeah, for sure. Um, I think you can even just tell by how teams are built. Um, a lot of these teams are for sure in their D-line, for sure in their secondary, like the Eagles. For them to draft, you know, in their first two picks of the first round, two defensive players, like that shows you already a Super Bowl team is drafting defense. Like they know, I mean, because at, at, at the end of the day, an offense may not be doing well. That's just how offense works. But if you have a great and elite defense, um, they'll be able to get you out of any situation. So I definitely think it's turning into a defensive game for sure. With that in mind, what's the ceiling for this team? Um, I feel like there is no ceiling. Um, we take it one week at a time, obviously, um, and just keep trying to perfect our craft each week. But as long as we're tight and as long as we're playing together, we have no ceiling. Bo, what do you got? Greg, last thing, Miles Garrett sets the, the tone last week. The first play on defense, he had what should have been a – that was a sack. They blew the call on the field. It should have been – I mean, sorry, should have been a safety. It was a sack. How big is that when the leader on the defense and Miles Garrett – goes out there and blows up the Steelers on the first play. How how much does that fire everybody else up? Nah, for sure. That gives us so much confidence. Um, obviously, when when the best player on your team and the face of your franchise is making plays like that, um, it's amazing. And, you know, Coach Schwartz said before the season, Miles, in order for us to be this elite defense we want to be, we need you to play your best football. Um, and honestly, I, I don't think there's not just a defensive player. I don't think there's a player – in the NFL playing better than Miles Garrett. So, you know, if I had an MVP vote right now, I think it would go to Miles Garrett, wow. um, the way he's playing. We talked about that yesterday. Traditionally, that doesn't happen. But the way he's playing and the way he's leading this team, if it's ever going to happen, particularly because all these super quarterbacks have dropped down. Josh Allen, Burroughs hurt. Mahomes has not been Patrick Mahomes. If it's ever going to happen, maybe this is the year. Listen, we know you got to go because you got to feed the folks. But I want to ask you a little bit about this event. I see you and a lot of your teammates out here giving time on your day off to come here and help the less fortunate. What does that mean to you? Uh, that You know, that's what this football stuff is, uh, is about, honestly. You know, the X's and O's are, is fun, but just me having a platform to be able to do stuff like this uh, for the less fortunate is amazing. So, um, you know, any events that, that I'm able to come and help out with anything, I, I just love to do it. So... Um, shout out Town Hall. I'm just grateful that, you know, each year they do this and allow me to be a part of something special. Greg, shout out to you and all of your teammates. The city of Cleveland is firmly behind you. I hope you feel that. Go get them the rest of the way and uh, no limits, no ceiling. For sure. Go I appreciate you guys. Thank Greg, you. Greg, thanks.